I'm Rebecca Wynn for Devil's Digest here with DJ Foster at Camp T. So your very last Camp T. Talk about some experiences you remember from past times and how this time was a little bit different for you. Yeah, um, I mean, I remember my freshman year, I came up here and I just couldn't stand it. I mean, I couldn't stand being outside. It was hot, the bugs and stuff. But I mean, over the years, I've learned to love it. I mean, it's gone by so fast. I can't believe this camp's already over. But I mean, I, I learned to love every second of it, whether it's hiking Mount, uh, Mount Kush or just playing wiffle ball here with the guys. It's fun. How much do you think the team has really come together cohesively being here together in this you know, space, especially people who have never been here before and newcomers to the team? It's huge. I mean, this is where we really make that jump from uh, to that next step of being a brotherhood. I mean, we get away from a lot of the distractions back in Tempe, and uh, a lot of guys don't understand when we go back, it's going to be a packed campus and stuff. So, I mean, a lot of the freshmen have a definitely a challenge for them, but this is a good challenge for them to come up here and just get to learn each other and learn a lot of relationships. Talk about your transition to wide receiver. Do you feel like it, there's even a difference? Do you think about it at all still, or do you, are you do you still have urges to do that running back position? Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I, it's, been a, it's been a tough transition, but um, my coaches and my teammates helped me so much, and uh, I take it as a challenge. Every day I'm getting better, learning new techniques, and just learning the position more and more every day, and hopefully, I mean, I can just continue along throughout season. Talk about the explosiveness of the offense. Um, how, how has that come along since spring camp? It's unbelievable. I mean, just the, our backfield with uh, Kalen, DeMario, and Gump, and then we got new additions like Tim White and Devin. I mean, we have so many weapons, Ellis, Gary, Fred. We have so many weapons across the board. I think it's going to elevate our offense as well as our special teams. So how do you feel the running back position is without you now? Are they in good hands? Oh, yeah, they're taking care of business. Um, I love watching them out there, the passion they run with the ball. I definitely still talk to them as much as I can. I still feel like I'm their older brother and the leader of that group. But um, they're all a lot of young guys, but they, they're mature every day very fast and they're doing a great job. Who can we expect to stand out at the running back position next year? I think all three of them. I mean, I think tomorrow obviously is leading the charge, but I, I think people can't sleep on Kalen Balaj. I mean, you saw that some of the runs he had today. It's unbelievable. Someone with that height and that power. So I think he's going to have a tremendous season as well as Gump in the slot and in the backfield. Great, thank you. Yep. And here with DJ Foster, I'm Rebecca Wynn for Devil's Digest.